Hello YouTube and welcome back! Today we will be talking about the brand new XP set in NHL 24. If you're watching this video, please make sure you like and subscribe because there will be a lot of NHL 24 content every week. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. XP set is replacing a season collectibles from previous years. By collecting XP collectibles, we will exchange them to the tokens, which later in the game cycle will give us a free 99 card. So now let's talk about how do you actually get those XP collectibles, where do you exchange them, and how quickly we will be able to get the 99. Let's talk about where we can get the XP collectibles. If we go to the objectives, then you can see on the screen that the XP collectible will be part of daily reward. Also, there will be a daily moment, same as daily challenges before. At the moment when I'm recording this video, there are no daily moments, so if you go into the training camp, you can see you can earn two XP collectibles here as well, so make sure you complete the moments. Every day, if you will be logging into the moments screen, you will have a daily moment. By completing it, you will receive one XP collectible. Another place where we will see XP collectibles will be Hot Rush. I believe the XP collectibles will be quite easy to acquire. In Hot Rush, you will really not need to complete all the mode till the end. So as you can see, Tier 2 gives us an XP collectible. If we scroll all the way to the Tier 10, there are no any more XP collectibles. I'm assuming that that's the idea what EA will take. XP collectibles will be quite easy to acquire by just playing a few games. So in a simple terms, we'll be able to earn XP collectibles through the objectives and other game mode rewards. But of course, it's not so simple. It's not only XP collectible we will need to get the 99 overall card. If we go to exchange screen, we can see that we need to use XP collectibles to complete the sets weekly to get a token, and token we will be able to exchange for a 99 overall card. When we go to the sets, the first one is the quest to the 99. Once you open it, you can see that there is an ultimate prize, level 1, level 2, 3, 4 and 5. And then level 6 is coming soon. It also says then check back every Tuesday and the new set will be added each week. So when we open the ultimate prize set, we can see that we need 40 tokens to get 99 everything master item choice pack. At the moment, we can only see Kale Makar. EA did confirm that there will be new players added, so Kale Makar will not be the only option we can choose for the reward. So let's say you are taking Kale's Makar's X Factor and upgrading through the year. There will be other alternatives you will be able to exchange your tokens for a different card. Okay, now let's go and have a look what actually those level 1, 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 sets looks like. So the first one is quite easy. You exchange two XP collectibles for an NHL 99 HUD token and mini pack. Level 2 will need 5 XP collectibles and you will get 99 token and 81 overall choice pack. For level 3 we need 5 collectibles and we will get another token and a base pack. For the level 4 we need to exchange 5 collectibles and we will get another token and an 82 choice pack. For the level 5, they are increasing what you need to exchange. So we need to exchange 4 82 gold players and 6 XP collectibles. I am assuming that the price for each set will start increasing as we go. For this one, we will get another token and a random 84 team builder player. Make sure guys you do these sets because all these sets are linked to each other. If you do the 99 grind, you will also get yourself a team builder and it will help you in the long run. So as already said, every week they will add a new set. That new set will probably increase in the price. I'm also expecting to see some jerseys, maybe logos or maybe some customization items because really I don't think the players and the collectibles will be everything we will need to exchange. Let me know down in the comments what do you think about the new 99 set. It will be a grind, but I really think it's a really good gesture from EA to actually reward us by playing the game. Considering we have 5 levels already and we need 40 tokens in general, so it means we will need to wait for another 35 weeks before we can get ourselves a free 99. If we would count 35 weeks from 3rd of October, it means we would get ourselves a free 99 by June 4th. It will be a grind, but to be honest, early in the summer to have a 99 everything free card from EA with a perfect card design because let's be honest the card design is insane I think it's a W the sets will remain where they are they will not disappear but to be honest you have to make sure you are playing the game at least few times a week to catch up on these collectibles like I said the price in the collectibles will increase each week Again, that's my personal opinion, it's not confirmed by the EA, but because you can already see that the level 5 is asking you for more things than the level 4, make sure you have at least 5 collectibles each week. If you play the game every day, you can get yourself at least 3 collectibles. So let's say if the weekly price for the new set will be between 6 and 10 collectibles, it's quite easy to actually get. I don't think they will go crazy and ask us for 10 XP collectibles, but you never know. Maybe later in the year when they will give us a little bit more rewards and XP collectibles will be more acquirable across the game, who knows how much it will cost. For sure it will not cost 5 collectibles each week because otherwise you technically only need to play one and a half day 
I believe EA really wants us to play this game every day to get ourselves a free 99 card. Okay guys, that's all you need to know about the new 99 set in NHL 24. I really hope you enjoy the game and you will be grinding for a free 99 card. Let me know down in the comment sections below, will it actually push you to play moments? Because not a lot of people were playing challenges previous years, because that seasonal collectible was really not worth anything. Now, this year, the collectibles will be worth something, so personally for myself, I will make sure that I complete a daily moment each day when I'm playing the game. I hope you enjoyed the video and have a good one. See you on the ice.